Yeah, baby. What does Marcellus Wallace look like? What? What country you from? What? What? What ain't no country I ever heard of. They speak English in what? What? English, motherfucker. Do you speak it? Yes. Then you know what I'm saying. Yes. Describe what Marcellus Wallace looks like. What? Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. I double dare you, motherfucker. Say what one more goddamn time. Hey, Jim. You know, I'm working on the Z4 again, and I did under the hood here, so that's all black, the inside of the fender wells. Uh, yeah, and then I've decided I need to tame that spray gun. So I originally I thought I was going to be doing it by painting um, my trash can as my practice piece. But then a neighbor down the street had part of an old car that he wanted to throw away and I had thought about going to a, a junkyard or a body shop and just getting an old discarded hood or something like that to practice on a little bit just to get the feel of the gun before I go hog wild with the car well my neighbor hooked me up check this out this is a removable hardtop. As you can see, I've already been working on it. It had lots of little chips and dings. It's been floating around in his garage for years. The car that it came from, he crashed two decades ago. This is uh, a removable hardtop from a Mercedes-Benz R129 chassis, uh, which is the one before the retractable hardtop, which is like the R230 that I have. But anyway, this is a freebie, so I decided I'm going to do the same treatment to it as far as preparation goes. I'm going to fix all the little chips. I'm going to sand it with the same grades of sandpaper and do the same basic thing. I'm going to do some uh, primer splotches. I've already started a little bit of that over here and prep all of those. And then I'm going to paint this thing black. And that's going to be my practice piece. Well... If it comes out okay, that'll be my one and only practice piece before I paint the damn Z4. So hopefully that will be my only practice piece. That'll be the only one that I need. Keep your fingers crossed. <laughs> um, my shirt's probably gonna change during this because uh, I don't see getting that completely done today. And I'm not gonna post this video until the black the black paint part of this is done, so this will not be, yeah. It had some pretty nasty scratches. This one's already been filled with spot putty, and I cannot feel it when I run my finger over it, which is a good sign. And it had a bunch of chips over here, and a bunch on the bottom edge, so... It's pretty much the same. I'm not going to do any actual body filler on this thing, but it's going to be a pretty good analogy of what I have going on on the Z4. So I hope this comes out good. Yeah, we're hoping it comes out good. Our little test roof here. Uh, this is looking pretty good. It's looking smooth. I think it's time to mask off the windows and spray some paint. Well, we got her all masked off. And now all I've got to do is uh, just do the little final wipe down, clean it up real good. And I'm going to go mix up some paint. We're going to be using this stuff. And the way you mix it, it's three parts. And it's six parts to one part to one part and i have this handy cup here which you see right there it says six one one so as long as i fill my like if i fill it up to four here with the paint then i just fill it up to four here with the uh, one part and then the four there to that one part and give it a mix and i'll have the right uh, ratio so this is a pretty handy little cup Okay, I got the paint loaded in the gun. I got the pressure set to about 28 pounds. 
and I'm going to put on my safety glasses and this respirator. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to go ahead and spray that roof and we'll take a look after I've sprayed the first coat. Keep your fingers crossed. Well, here we have after our first coat and it's just got a colossal amount of orange peel. And you know, I've got some other little pock marks in the paint, but the level of orange peel is just huge. It's like uh, it's not uh, atomizing enough or something because uh, there's no way I'm ready to paint the car because I do not want it to have that kind of a surface. I want it to be smooth and glossy. So I'm letting this flash for about uh, 10 minutes and then I'm going to put a second coat on, which is what the instructions call for. But I really doubt there'll be much more of a flow out. I don't know. I'm going to have to screw around with the gun a little more or something. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to research this, why I'm getting so much uh, orange peel. Because this prep on this, it was perfectly smooth. So this is uh, the way the gun is spitting out the paint. So anybody out there has any ideas? <laughs> I'm all ears. There hasn't been any wind at all today. And I just did the uh, last little clip. And as I'm walking in the garage, there's suddenly a microburst right here. There was my shade umbrella there. Well, it's now up on the roof thanks to that microburst. No wind at all until I have wet paint here. And it blew all this debris up into my paint. Ugh. I can't believe it. Well, I mean, this paint job is so horrible, it doesn't really matter. But I'm still going to second coat it just to see if it does anything to help this uh, terrible orange peel problem. But I'm not going to worry too much about the debris that got blown up because it's a junkyard roof. This is just paint practice. But hey, thanks for that wind. It still has an awful lot of orange peel but it has improved a lot now it, we're gonna have to ignore all of this dust the uh the wind was about as cruel to me as it could possibly have been <laughs> as soon as i get a second coat another big boof and it blew the uh the umbrella back down off of the roof which landed over here of course on the project i'm working on there's all this debris now blowing around sticking in it but i don't care i was just more looking for uh you know like here the paint's pretty smooth uh yeah i think if i didn't have so much just debris blown up into it uh the orange peel is pretty bad down here uh all of that would have to be you know color sanded out and buffed if you're really trying to make this look smooth like a factory finish but it's uh, uh i'm not quite ready to start painting on this yet i'm gonna have to uh let the uh let this roof cure and <clears throat> maybe uh paint this one more time before i attack the car so i'm gonna have to sand this smooth and Ah, try and do it again. It's it is the uh, practice victim. So <laughs> yeah, I'm getting all sorts of shit blowing down off the roof. Thanks, wind, for kicking up. I thought I had the perfect day to do this, but ah, nothing's perfect in this world, I guess. Yeah, well, a uh, little spray gun practice never hurt anybody, I guess. Um, it's not as bad as I was thinking it was coming out, and it's not as good as I was hoping it would come out. But I think we're sneaking up on it, and I'm noticing maybe I'm still running my spray gun a little too high. It says 28 PSI max, but then I read on the paint instructions it says something like maximum 10 pounds at the cap. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll experiment on my trash can with a lower air pressure and then i'm going to do some research on what causes the orange peel to be so bad and uh maybe my next effort will be improved enough that i'll be able to attack the car soon because i know we all want to get this damn thing painted soon you know 
my wife included. Hi, honey. Love you. Mwah. Thanks for watching.